Are you afraid of growing old and not being able to live a productive, enjoyable, and healthy life? Are you looking for the perfect one-of-a-kind product that can replace all kinds of vitamins which are not helping you? We have used several direct antioxidants for several years which have not helped the aging process or treatment of various diseases. New studies have revealed that supplements have massive amounts of synthetic vitamins and minerals. The Kasturi Wellness Podcast provides you with information on LYP, an all-natural five-plant-based product with ingredients which activates your genes to make them work for you. In our podcast, you will learn how to be in the forefront of a new and ongoing trend that is going to make a big impact in the world. You will learn the concept of biohacking and why this is going to be the future of our health. Gone are the days of supplements. The Kasturi Wellness Podcast will provide you with the information on activating your own cells and organs to live a longer and healthier life. Hello, everybody. I'm David Arnold with Dr. Jaya Kasturi. And Dr. Kasturi, in your last blog, you mentioned oxidative stress and what, what that does to the body. But you briefly touched upon the four pillars of health. Now, could you give us some more information on these four pillars? Yeah. In fact, today I plan to talk on four pillars of health. But before that, I would like to remind you about my last blog in case you don't remember. This is the, I talked about the first pillar of health is the oxidative stress. We all go through oxidative stress every day, every second of our life. And how does it happen? The air that we breathe, the, all the environmental exposure to ultraviolet rays, uh, cell phones, the various uh, environmental toxins, all of them produce large number of garbage in our cells, with so-called garbage, because these are free radicals, which are ions feet floating in the cell and inside the cell, and they cause inflammation. That is how we get the aging process. Even after the age of 20, we all start aging. We don't realize this. Till the age of 20, our body produces enough antioxidants. Why antioxidants are important? They destroy these free radicals so that our cells can remain healthy and keep on functioning normally. But that process is being shortened after the age of 20. We do not produce, our cells do not produce enough antioxidants and we need external antioxidants. And we have been using it for 20, 30 years we have been using it. But they have not been that effective. If you know, everybody talks about eating grapes, eating, uh, drinking red wine. We know that kale, spinach, broccoli, all of them are considered antioxidants and we, we have been taking. But have we really achieved the or delayed the aging process? No. Neither um, various diseases which uh, we all suffer from. We have not made a dent in the disease process. In fact, diseases are increasing. We are living little longer because of advent of antibiotics and other various scientific process, progresses. But we still have not achieved uh, longer health or disease-free health. And that is one of the reasons a lot of work has been going on. And one of the important things that came out of that uh, research is NRF2 activation. NRF2 is a transcriptional protein in the cytoplasm which activates our survival genes in the nucleus. The genes are in the chromosomes. And these survival genes, which are 400 of them, they get activated and they produce increased amount of antioxidant enzymes in our own cells. And that's what takes care of all the antioxidants that we are producing in our life. And that is one of the reasons that NRF2 activation to preserve antioxidant production by our own cells is one of the most important health uh, process that has been discovered of late. Washington State University says this NRF2 activation is an important discovery in the therapeutic and prevention of various disease processes and this is going to be the biggest 
new science in the realm of medicine. So we, we know these things, I have talked about it, but just keeping the cell uh, producing enough antioxidants is just not enough because we do need other um, organs in our cell to be healthy also. And you know the most important organ inside the cell is mitochondria. These are called mighty mitochondria. Why? Because they produce our energy. The oxygen just that we breathe goes into the mitochondria and the mitochondria then undergoes various biochemical processes to create our energy which is called adenosine triphosphate. And that is the energy with which we talk, we walk, we show our emotions. That's the main way we are living. And that is very important to keep the mitochondrial function. And this mitochondria also gets destroyed by the free radicals. That is the problem. Those same free radicals which we destroy this nucleus and the genes also tries to de destroy the mitochondria. Mitochondria produces the, uh, uses the oxygen, produces the free radicals, and the same free radicals are destroying mitochondria. Isn't this a very um, distinctive process? And then how to keep this mitochondria going? How to form new mitochondria? Because we lose mitochondria in this process. They function less, they become smaller and smaller, and we lose the energy. If you have seen, as we age, we do find that we have less energy. If you look at people aged 80, 90 years old, they always want to sleep, they want to lie down, they don't, think they have enough energy to go around and they always do not want to be going out in, in the crowd. All these things are because their mitochondria are very few and they are not working properly. And we need to keep this mitochondria healthy so that we can have the same amount of energy. We can have enough antioxidants, but we need the same energy level so that we can use our entire brain, our entire body properly, and we can live to a fullest extent, whatever is possible by us in a proper manner. And that's one of the reasons mitochondria are very important for our health and we have to regenerate them. Now, what we have done in, for mitochondrial regeneration is we have made another, we have found another pathway which is called NRF1 pathway. NRF is nuclear reactive factor. These are two uh, factors in the cytoplasm which have been found in the last 20 to 25 years. And they are very important proteins in our cell. Now, NRF2 activation activates your enzyme production. NRF1 activation makes your mitochondria, uh, a mitochondrial regeneration and keeps them healthy. How do we achieve this NRF1 activation? We again have five important nutritional compounds which we join together, join them, and they actively cause the regeneration of mito uh, NRF1 and mitochondrial regeneration. How These are alpha lipoic acid, grape extract, CoQ10, which we all know is very important for our health, energy production, then quercetin, and L-carnitine. If you know, many people, cardiologists, do use all these things separately. But when you join to the, together, there is a synergistic action, and they work far better to activate the NRF1 system in our cell, which causes mitochondrial regeneration. And we have extremely good um, energy production as well as we f we can feel the energy and that is one of the reason we want to you want people to use both 
NRF1 activation and NRF2 activation. And both these products are called protandim. One is protandim, which activates the NRF2. The other one, protandim, which activates the NRF1. And if you take both of them, you are keeping your cells in good health. And we also know that the mitochondrial dysfunction is the main reason for cancer production. That has been proven more recently in several articles. And that's another reason I would urge that if you are taking NRF2 to keep your cell health, take NRF1 to keep your mitochondrial health. And uh, uh, this is a very, very important subject for me and I have been studying and doing research on this subject and I would like to answer any of the questions if you have in future, um, you are welcome to talk to me. And then now uh, Mr. Ant will be asking me more questions about what all, what other things I've been working on. So let me, uh, let me ask him whether he's taking NRF1, he's going to start taking it because he takes NRF2. Now, what else you would like to know, Mr. Ant? Well, you know what? You, you discuss cell, cellular and mitochondrial you know, components and, and the effects of the product on, on those areas. What other components does you know are affected by some, some of these? The, as I said, there are four pillars. So we have dealt with the cellular components, oxidative stress, mitochondrial regeneration. Now comes the gut health. Gut health is extremely important. In fact, many physicians and also ordinary people who do not even go to the doctor do realize that they have to keep their gut healthy. And that's one of the reason there is a lot of advertisement about probiotics. You can see it in the TV. You can go to various supermarkets or Costco or Walmart and see uh, probiotic being advertised and people do buy probiotics from the shelf. Now what are the probiotics? We all in our gut, we are supposed to have normal bacteria certain amount of normal bacteria. There are various forms of normal bacteria. They keep our gut healthy. Gut health is a very important thing. What happens is that um, the single layer of epithelium that is covering the uh, intestinal intestine all over, uh, there's a tight junction between them. If we do not have normal bacteria in the intestine, that tight junction becomes loose and things leak out from the gut. That's called leaky gut. And this leaky gut is responsible for various inflammatory bowel disease, irritable bowel disease. And also, the it has a very important function. It give, makes, gut makes the hormones for our brain, serotonin, dopamine, norepinephrine, these are also produced in the gut, which goes to our brain. And that's why we call gut as our second brain. This is very important. So we need to maintain the normal bacteria. We are in, in the habit of using antibiotics a lot, even for minor viral illnesses. What it causes? It depletes our normal bacteria, which we should have. And Instead, there are abnormal bacteria which occupy our gut and they destroy the gut health. Various toxins in the food also destroy our gut health. Not just the external bacteria and viruses, but there are various chemical compounds in the pesticides which can also cause harm. The food toxins can cause harm to our gut bacteria and that causes the leaky gut and various diseases. And as I talked about it, the various hormones for the brain are produced. And in fact, probiotic is an important component to tell our brain that we are satisfied. That kind of a connection is between brain and gut. So that is one of the reasons we have to have proper gut bacteria. And we try to get all kinds of 
probiotic from various sources, but majority of the probiotic that we buy from outside have a problem. They get destroyed in the stomach acid. They don't survive to reach the intestine. We need these bacilli, which are called. We need them in the intestine, not in the stomach, but they get destroyed in the stomach acid. So only 4% of them reaches the uh, intestine and this is of no use. What we have done is the probiotic that we have made, it does not have to be refrigerated. This has a protective coating called biotract mechanism, which is patented mechanism so that it does not get destroyed in the stomach acid. Entire uh, capsule reaches the intestine and slowly releases the bacilli whole 24 hours. 60% of the bacilli reach our intestine and that maintains our gut health. So we need to know that just taking any probiotic does not help our gut. What is important is the that probiotic has to be protected against stomach acids. That's very important that we have taken care of in the probiotic that we use. And also we have added, pro gut is the most important site for immune system. 80% of our immune system is situated in the gut, which is very surprising because till recently we did not know about it. And to keep that immune system going, it is important that we keep it healthy. The, we have added an L immune in, to this probiotic so that our immune function does very good job. Do you know many of the autoimmune processes start because of the gut dysfunction? And that's one of the reasons it is important to keep the gut healthy so that our immune function is proper and our bacterial growth is proper, which maintains our hormonal system and we do not suffer from various gut-related problems. And also it helps in the weight management because gut signals the brain that you are satisfied this is enough to eat. So all these are very important thing and we have to know how to maintain our gut health. Mr. Aunt has some more questions to ask me so that I can explain other uh, systems that we are, uh, it's important to know about. What are the other organs that are important to, to the, having the best health? Um, the last but not the least is the brain. Blood-brain barrier is an important function. Whatever we do, they have to reach the brain to function. And you know that the, for brain function, fatty acids are very important. That too, especially omega-3 fatty acids. They keep the cell membrane, each membrane, of the nerve cell is maintained by the fatty acids from omega-3. So omega-3 is anti-inflammatory. It is anti, it also regenerates the nerve cell very good. It also, it, the, there are two components of omega-3, DHA and EPA. The component EPA is more anti-inflammatory. DHA is for the maintenance of healthy, neurons in our brain and that fatty acid is very very important so the omega-3 we carry has more ratio of DHA to EPA to maintain the good brain health not only that we also have omega-7 omega-7 many people do not even know what is it I have seen that they ask me what is it very recently Harvard Medical School and Cleveland Medical School but did some studies and they realized there is a omega-7 which is anti-metabolic syndrome which increases the sensitivity of the insulin to glucose. That way it protects against diabetes. It prevents from getting diabetes. 
So this is a very important component which many other omega 3s that are available in the market do not have. We in our omega 3 we have included omega 7 mainly for this purpose. You know the incidence of diabetes, metabolic syndrome is very high in our society and if you want to combat that we do need to have omega 7. Other omega um, 6 and the other omegas are not important. They are pro-inflammatory. They cause inflammation. So you have to avoid, completely avoid them. Omega-3 is again available everywhere. It's being advertised. It is available over the counter. We all buy because we all know 70% of the U.S. population do take supplements without even the knowledge of their physicians. And they do buy omega-3. But do you know most of the omega-3 that you get from the uh, shelf, they are oxidized. That's why they are rancid. They have a fish burp when you uh, take them. Uh, I do not know. I have experienced it. So that is one of the reasons they are not worth taking. You might be spending 20 30 $50, but it's of no use because they are oxidized. So the omega-3 that we carry is not oxidized. You can even chew it. It has no fish burp and it, this can be used even in individuals who are allergic to fish because fish protein is not there in this omega-3 and it's a, it, it is lemon flavored. So when you chew, chew it, you don't even know you are chewing on omega-3. It's that pleasant. Children chew that, this omega-3 easily and what we have done not only omega-3, omega-7, but we've added vitamin D3. Why? Because vitamin D3 is important for our bone health. In When you have enough sun and you are exposed your skin to the sun, we are producing enough vitamin D3 for your bone, from your skin. But that's not available in poor countries. We are not, we don't have enough sun. Then we don't expose because we are too cold with the result that we are not making our own vitamin D3 and we do need external vitamin D3. Many of us randomly take vitamin D3. That is not right. Too much of vitamin D3 can harm our system. They can do kidney stones. They can uh, cause excess calcification in our arteries of the heart soft tissue calcification. That's why you cannot just go and buy 2,000, 5,000 units of vitamin D3 and keep on taking because somebody asked you to take. Take the amount that is required. The minimum amount that should that is required is 600 to 800 units. And you can get that by taking this omega-3 which has included 800 units of vitamin D3 which you need in everyday life because if you don't you are lacking vitamin D3 your bones get porous you suffer from osteoporosis later on in life so that is why vitamin D3 is an important component so what we have done we have combined vitamin D3 to our omega and it is possible it's, it's a system with which we combine all these three, omega-3, omega-7 and vitamin D3 and form one kind of omega and you can take three of them in a day at one time you can take it. So this is these are the four pillars of optimum health. You keep the cellular health by taking protandium NRF2 activator, keep the mitochondrial health by taking NRF1 activator protandium NRF1 activator, then physique probiotic, which is another very important one. The last but not the least is the omega-3 with omega-7 and vitamin D3. These are the four pillars and this keeps your optimum health. You can expect to have a most optimum health if you take four of these together. And it has been made very easy by our company. How, how, how are people able to get a hold of these products? Um, people
people can get them if they go to my website called kasuriwellness.com or they can uh, if they want to talk to me they can call me on my cell phone they can email me all the information will be given to you at the same time um, if you want to have a personal advice from me I don't mind talking to any of my patients or any acquaintances or any friends because my purpose is to educate people I want the public to know that the science is far advanced every physician is not um, knowing about the advancement of these things um, as far as the medical studies goes uh, these recent advances are not taught and many of us do not keep up with the modern medicine. This is the latest science and we can probably do a remarkable uh, uh, good job by educating each other, by educating every person that we come across. And that's one of the reasons I made Dr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Aunt take the NRF2 activator for his good health. I would like to know, what do you think of uh, Protandim NRF2, which you've been taking for nearly a month now? You know what? It's actually been about a month and a week now that I've been taking the NRF2 Protandim. And, you know, after having spine surgery three years ago and having metal put into my back and at a cage, I've noticed that my inflammation has gone down considerably, that I don't really have to take any extra anti-inflammatories i'm still you know dealing with pain from you know herniated discs and, and other spine related issues but the actual inflammation has been brought down considerably and you know you know admittedly you know my gut health has actually i haven't had any stomach related issues so those are the two biggest factors that i've seen because you know i i definitely you know I'm not a fan of taking prescription pills. I, you know, that's, you know, besides, you know, just the course and regimen and take, taking, you know, all sorts of pills, I've never been one to take pills, you know, drink much alcohol, but I, I just, you know, needed something else to help kind of make things a little bit better because, you know, the inflammation was the worst part. You know, I can deal with pain on, you know, you know, but that's, that's here or there. It's just inflammation was the biggest thing that I've seen so far. Do, do you take Protanum? I take um, Vitality Stack. What is that? The All these four pillars which I talk about, Protanum 1 and 2, Probiotic and Omega, they've all formed into a strip. Uh, you can see it in the slide. And it's very easy to carry. They don't get get destroyed in the uh, regular temperature, in the room temperature. Wherever you travel, you can just take those strips with you. You don't have to count anything. The bottles, you don't have to carry them. Very easy to take. I've been taking it for uh, nearly two years now. And I used to have a lot of osteoarthritis. As you know, I'm not a very young person. I'm 80 years old. No. I had tremendous right uh, shoulder arthritis and two years ago I was told by the orthopedic surgeon that I need to totally replace my right shoulder. One month later I came across this heavenly um, uh, material called Protandim NRF2 and I started taking it. Lo and behold it took seven months for me to know the result as you know it takes a long time for us to get all those free radicals and garbage in our cells and it's going to take the same amount of time to get our cells to a normal process and how does it happen it takes one month for every decade of life you have lived so you have to take that many months to know the result so it took me seven months when I suddenly noticed that my pain in the right shoulder was gone, I do weight lifting now, I do various exercises, I have no sign of inflammation in my right uh, shoulder, my thyroid became normal. I, I was taking thyroid medication for hypothyroidism. 
my thyroid function became normal and the physician was very surprised and um, I see every day my health improving. Everyone would be appreciating um, if we offer this to as many people as possible. Now, I have many testimonials from my patients also, but very recent one which I want to talk, I have a guy who is about uh, more than 50 years of age, just early 50s, had very bad diabetes, he's obese, his hemoglobin A1C, with which we measure the, the uh, amount of glucose control, whether they are controlled or not, was 11.4. Many of you will know what is that. That hemoglobin A1C was high. He was obese and I was observing him. One day I said, he is a grocer. I told him, why don't you sit with me for half an hour and listen to me? He started taking Vitality Stack and I told him it will take you four or five months to know the results so don't expect anything miracle. He said okay. He was skeptic but he started taking because I as a physician advised him. In two months time he calls me and tells me oh Dr. Kasturi what can I give you? My hemoglobin A1C without doing anything else has come down to 7.4. My doctor has reduced my insulin dosage from 100 to 40 units. What other important thing which I didn't even know, he says the psoriasis which I had in my body all these years has disappeared in two months. I was surprised and I'm elated that such good testimonials could come from my patients just not one, many, several patients, a patient with autoimmune disease, she says she doesn't have to take any pain medication for her arthritis, which she has in her uh, hand, rheumatoid arthritis, Sjogren syndrome. They, they don't have to go on any other medication. They feel good with this vitality stat, whatever they are taking. If some people can take just protandium, Go ahead and take it. But this is the way people are telling me now. And I'm more excited that how, how many more people I can reach. That's one of the reasons I'm talking to you all. That you need to know this. You don't have to know the entire science. But learn a little bit about this science. The latest science. And try to see whether you can use them for the betterment of your health. Thank you. I, Dr. Gusturi, I do appreciate the time, you know, to, you know, inform me and everybody watching about the four pillars of health. And I do encourage all, all of our watchers and listeners to definitely vi visit your site. So, you know, if you they do have any questions, please re definitely reach out to Dr. Gusturi. She's very, very receptive f to give out some more information. And, you know, I, ho I hope everybody out there, you know, definitely at least tries for themselves at least some of your product. I, I do know NRF2 Pro Tandem has helped me considerably in, in just a month and a half, you know, and I'm sure, you know, as, as you said, it takes a few months to fully fully go through the course depending on how old you are. But, you know, I, I, do, I have seen such a remarkable decrease in my inflammation right off the bat. So I'm definitely going to be continuing myself. So thanks, everybody, for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. For more information, visit our website at kasturiwellness.com or email Dr. Kasturi directly. We'll be happy to give you more information, insights, and advice to help you make the best choices for your health.